I'm Bill Hoger with the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. And in this section, we're gonna talk about sludge handling and treatment. In our main wastewater treatment process, we took the contaminants out of the wastewater and concentrated them in the sludge. Now we've got to treat the sludge in order to make it less toxic, to destroy the pathogens, and have less of an impact on the environment. We also wanna make it where it's easier to handle. And the processes that we're gonna look at, they include thickening, digestion, and dewatering. These processes will take the sludge, recover some of the energy from it that we can use to power our wastewater treatment plant, and also turn out a beneficial product that can be used for soil conditioning. This is the sludge thickening process. It's the first step in the solids handling processes, and it's very similar to the clarifiers that we looked at before where we slow the water down and allow the solids to settle out. But the special feature of thickening is that we're taking our solids concentrations from about a half a percent all the way up to 6% solids. The reason we do that is so that we have less energy to pump the solids and so that we have a better treatment in the remainder of the solids handling processes. In the gravity thickener, we use gravity to settle the sludge out and make it thicker so it's easier to treat in the rest of the solids handling facilities. In this facility, it's a dissolved air flotation thickener, or a daft, and in it, we take and dissolve air in the sludge under pressure, then we release that pressure and the sludge floats to the top. We end up with about a 5% solids blanket on the top, which we scrape off and send to our solids handling facilities for digestion. We're in the pump gallery for the sludge digesters. We've thickened the sludge in the sludge thickeners and we've sent it over here to the digesters. In the digesters, we heat the sludge up and the microorganisms start to break it down, get rid of some of the volatile compounds, make it to where it won't degrade any further. In that process, it also destroys some of the pathogens. When we're finished, the sludge is turned into a useful product. But during that process, we also generate some methane. That methane gas, we can use to run generators. And those generators power part of our wastewater treatment plant. They also generate waste heat, which we use to heat up the digestion process. So it's a nice circle. We use a whole lot of the energy that's stored inside that sludge to make our process cheaper to operate. This is the digested sludge. After we've used microorganisms and heat to destroy the pathogens and reduce the material that might degrade further and cause odor problems. But there's still a lot of water left in this sludge, so we're gonna have to do some dewatering process to get rid of the water, make it easier to handle, cheaper to transport, and so that we can land apply it as a soil conditioner. These are centrifuges behind me, and it's one way to get the water out of the sludge. You can also use a belt filter press or some other kind of filter to get the water out. The centrifuges spin the sludge around just like your washing machine and get and pull the water away from the sludge, and you're ended up with a cake that's easy to truck away and to land apply.